The year is 1910. At the Harvard College Observatory, American astronomers Edward Pickering and Henry Russell are observing photographic plates that have recorded emission spectra of faint stars when they notice something strange. Upon classifying the stars based on their absolute magnitudes, they labeled all of the observed faint stars to be in class G, or lower, on their spectral classification chart. However, there was one faint star, named 40 Eridani b, that didn't fall into this category, for the observed spectral lines of this star were much different than the rest. Russell, who notices the anomaly first, brings it up to Pickering, who is also puzzled by the results. Pickering then telephones William Mina Fleming, who is the head of analysis of spectra on these plates at the observatory. Mina had first made the classification of these stars merely an hour or two earlier, and she confirms that the star was in fact a Class A star, despite its apparent dimness and distance from Earth. Fleming had discovered an entirely new type of star, one that is apparently very small and dim, but white in color and much hotter than stars of similar sizes. Perhaps the most curious nature about Fleming's discovery is the journey she went through to get to the position she was in on that day in 1910. At 21 years of age in 1878, Mina immigrated from Dundee, Scotland to Boston, Massachusetts with her husband James and an unborn child. A sudden shock came to Mina, though, shortly after arriving in Boston, as James would abandon Mina and her child, forcing her to look for work in order to survive. Fortunately, she found work as a maid in 1879 in the home of Edward Pickering, who was the director of the Harvard College Observatory at the time. Pickering noticed, though, throughout Mina's time as a maid, that she was quite bright and hardworking, and decided to give Mina a greater opportunity working at the observatory under his guidance starting in 1881. Fleming started work at the observatory at a very fortunate time. Five years into her new career, Pickering made some changes to the telescopes, adding cameras to the ends of them to collect images as opposed to an observation with the naked eye. A prism could also be placed in the telescope, which allowed a photographic plate to capture several spectral emissions of stars simultaneously. This change completely revolutionized how the observatory operated, as photographs of stars and nebulae would be taken at night by operators and the images would be analyzed by human computers during the day. The computers Pickering hired were mostly women, for he believed that women were more suited to repetitive tasks than men, and he placed Mina Fleming at the head of this operation, leading the team of female computers at the observatory. By the time Pickering and Fleming published their first edition of their book, Draper Catalog of Stellar Spectra, in 1890, Fleming had examined more than 28,000 spectra of more than 10,000 stars collected by more than 600 photographic plates. With such a volume of spectra, required a classification method to sort stars by common characteristics. Together with Pickering and Annie Cannon, they developed the Harvard Spectral Classification, which split up stars into seven categories, classes O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. The development of this stellar classification scheme was the key component that led to Mina's classification of a new type of star, the White Dwarf. Mina wasn't the one who discovered the star 40 Eridani b, for William Herschel discovered the three-star system 40 Eridani in the year 1783. She does, however, get credit for discovering the first white dwarf because she was the first to classify the new type of star. Mina's discovery came after observing 40 Eridani b's spectral emission lines and classifying it based on similarities of spectral lines with other stars. She noticed that despite how dim 40 Eridani b was, it had the spectral emission lines of what they called a Class A star. Later developments show that Class A stars have effective temperatures ranging between 7,300 Kelvin and 10,000 Kelvin and appear white in color, and the effective temperature of 40 Eridani b has since been calculated to be at around 8,800 Kelvin. 
This star was surely an entirely new type of star, about the size of the Earth and very dim, but extremely hot and white. She published these findings the same year as her discovery in 1910, describing white dwarfs as stars that have almost used up their fuel, having expelled their outer layers and leaving behind nebulae and extremely dense cores. Mina was the first American woman elected to honorary membership in England's Royal Astronomical Society in 1906. She became a U.S. citizen in 1907 and died one year after her publication on white dwarfs in 1911 to pneumonia. Throughout the course of her career, Mina Fleming discovered more than 300 variable stars, 59 gaseous nebulae, 10 novae, and cataloged more than 10,000 stars. Other than her discovery of white dwarfs, she is most known for her discovery of the Horsehead Nebula in 1888, a small dark nebula that exists just below Orion's belt in the Orion constellation. Fleming is one of the few women to make significant contributions to science during the late 19th and early 20th centuries, and is a true testament to overcoming difficulties to accomplish so much Mina was given a rare opportunity by an open-minded mentor and made the most of it, and her numerous discoveries made a monumental impact on the field of astronomy, giving us a much more detailed understanding of our observable universe and what exists inside it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Click here if you want to see more scientific progress made during this time period. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.